Brooklyn police suspect a murder-suicide was the cause of death for a 37-year-old mother, her name Azalea Rivas, and her 14-year-old unnamed daughter, as well as their pet dog, who were all found dead in their Brooklyn apartment. We're told they were found dead Monday at around 4.30pm by Azalea Rivas' boyfriend, who broke down the door to discover a gruesome scene he then called police. Investigators initially believed that there was a brutal domestic dispute, but now they released to the public that they now consider the tragedy to be a murder-suicide. Again, a mother, Azalea Rivas, 37 years of age, and her 14-year-old daughter, along with their pet dog, have been found dead. We're not given too many details within this article. We're not told how they died, and we're also not told who the police suspect as being the murderer. I'm going to interject with a little bit of speculation at this point. Of course, this is just guesswork, but it does make me wonder whether or not the 14-year-old girl is suspected as being the murderer. Obviously, that's pretty unusual for a 14-year-old to be a murderer, but the investigators' reticence to make it public that they suspect the mother as being the murderer makes me feel that perhaps they are considering whether or not it was the 14-year-old. And I would think, and of course I'm just guessing, but I would think that the forensic evidence would be sufficient to be able to quickly and easily identify who the murderer was. So we don't know. It could have been the mother, it could have been the daughter. We're told that the mother was found with a gory slap wound on her face. She was found lying dead on her back in the living room. The 14 year old girl was found lying face down with trauma to her head. So I'm wondering if that's gunshot trauma to the head. I'm wondering if the teenage girl was shot in the head, perhaps by herself. Perhaps the 14 year old attacked her mother with a knife. The mother was found with a gory slash wound on her face. Perhaps she was attacked by her 14 year old daughter. The family dog was found with a bag over its head it was suffocated to death the neighbors heard the dog whimper and cry and then suddenly stop so I'm wondering if it was the daughter that committed this heinous act. Stabbed her mother to death, suffocated her dog, and then took her own life with a gun. That's what I'm wondering. I could be wrong. So initially, the mother's boyfriend was a potential suspect. We're told that police had been called over to the apartment several times over the past few weeks, and the family had only moved into the apartment a few weeks ago. So there was cause to believe that there could have been a domestic dispute, but seemingly at this point, the mother's boyfriend has been eliminated from inquiries he's no longer considered a suspect it is viewed as a murder suicide but of course again we don't know if that is primarily the mother or primarily the daughter that is suspected of being the murderer again the neighbors heard this horrific tragedy taking place they heard noises which made them feel that somebody was literally being killed they heard the dog whimper and cry and then those noises suddenly stop so neighbors had called police but we are told that the mother's boyfriend had returned to the apartment at around 4 30 p.m monday afternoon and discovered the bodies and subsequently called the police as well. Police have described the scene as being particularly brutal, particularly grotesque, particularly bloody. Final autopsy reports are yet to be presented but seemingly the police do view this as being a potential murder-suicide and with that an absolute tragedy so of course I'm going to say full condolences to all family and friends, all of those touched by this awful tragedy, schoolmates of the 14 year old girl, school teachers even, work colleagues, the mother's boyfriend friend. Perhaps he wasn't an angel. We don't know. I'm saying that because police were called out to the premises multiple times over the last few weeks. He was initially considered a suspect. Perhaps he's not an angel, but even so, he does not deserve to be exposed to this kind of tragedy. His girlfriend, murdered, perhaps had taken her own life. His girlfriend's 14-year-old daughter, also deceased. Perhaps he viewed her as his own daughter. We don't know. So this is an absolute tragedy for all those concerned. So full condolences. Are there any lessons to learn from this? Are there any aspects that we should particularly consider? Well, I guess we could say gun control. We're not specifically told how either of the victims died. We're told that the dog had a bag over its head, but we are told that the 14-year-old girl had trauma to her head, and I'm wondering if that was gunshot trauma. That's my guess. Could be wrong. So if that's the case, we could ask if the girl took her own life. Is she unlifed herself? If so, how did she get the gun? Was it the mother's gun? Was the gun legal? legally owned? Was the gun adequately locked? Perhaps it was the mother's gun. Perhaps the mother was the shooter, in which case we could ask, have there been any mental health issues that have been identified? Should the mother have had a license to carry a gun? Perhaps it was an illegal gun, but again, I'm just kind of speculating here. We don't even know if a gun was involved. 
I'm just guessing. But either way, it is awful. Mental illness is a factor to some degree or other. A lack of self-control. People get angry, people get upset, people have arguments. But switching to murder and unlifing yourself is clearly extreme. And it must stem from somewhere. An inability to cope with life's difficulties. Not the first family-orientated murder-suicide that we've seen recently. It happens all the time. I'm wondering if it's happening more often than it used to. I don't know. But anyway, that's all the information that I have so I'm going to wrap things up at this point if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit perhaps you're in a position to consider joining my memberships if so that would be great but if not that's perfectly fine so I'm going to thank you for your time and take care